Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem solution from here. From here, we can multiply this directly. X times X times X, that's X raised to the power 3, minus X times X, that's X square, equals to 100 here. You are watching us here at Master T Math Class. Do it to watch to the hand. Give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video. Next step here, we take 100 to the left hand side and we have x raised to the power 3 minus x square 10 minus 100 equals to 0 here. That is, here we can write 100 as 125 minus 25. That is, this equation becomes x raised to the power 3 minus x square. Then minus into bracket 1, 125 minus 25, then equals to 0 here. Then minus open this bracket, we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2, then minus 1, 125 plus, because minus is minus, plus, plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then also, we can express 1 around 25 to the power of 3. That's 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 raised to the power of 3. And also 25 to the power of 2. 5 times 5. That's 5 squared. Then we can rearrange and write this. And we have x raised to the power of 3. Okay, minus x raised to the power of 2. Then minus 5 raised to the power of 3. Plus 5 raised to the power of 2 equals to 0. Then when we rearrange here now, power of 3 together, we have x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3. Power of 2 together minus x raised to the power 2 plus 5 raised to the power 2 equals to 0 here. Subscribe, give a thumbs up, put your comments. Thank you for subscribing. Now, this can be written as x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3 together in brackets. Then minus factor out here, we mean x raised to the power 2 plus minus 5 raised to the power 2 here. Since this is plus, this minus multiplies, so it becomes plus, equals to 0 here, okay? Then, this here follows the first bracket here, when we have a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3. This is the same thing as a minus b into bracket. Open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And the second bracket for when we have is square minus b square. This can be written as a minus b into bracket. Open bracket a plus b. Then when we apply this here, what we have becomes x. Minus 5 into bracket, also to bracket x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared for the first bracket, then minus the second bracket also becomes x minus 5 into brackets, open bracket x plus 5, close brackets, then equals to 0 here. Then we can factor x minus 5 out is common. We have x. Minus 5 into brackets, then we have one bracket and we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared here that's 25. Then here we are left with minus into bracket x plus 5 close bracket closes bracket equals to 0 here. Then next step here minus open this bracket here, this becomes x minus 5 into brackets, open bracket, x square plus 5x plus 25, then minus x, then minus 5, close bracket, equals to 0 here. That is the same thing as x minus 5 into brackets, open bracket, x square plus 5x plus 5x minus x and we bring it together that becomes plus 4x then 25 minus 5 that becomes plus 20 close bracket equals to 0 here 
that is here we multiply two things give us zero is it that we have x minus five equals to zero or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to zero here give it thumbs up and subscribe thank you yeah you take minus five here become plus as this x equals to five which is a resolution yeah here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to one b equals to four and c equals to 20. and applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac over 2a this year we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1 then this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared as 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20 that's 80 over 2 here then here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 that's minus 64 over 2 which also can be written as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. That is, you can separate this from when we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b. That is, here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8. Root minus 1 is i over 2, which can be separated as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. At this here, we have x equals to minus over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus 8i over 2, that's 4i. Here, we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, altogether here, we have three solutions in this problem. One resolution, two complex solutions. That is, we have x1 equals to 5, x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i. Then x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 r. That is three solutions together, one really two complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next time. Bye for now.